Okay, first we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna be creating. So here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna make a tutorial on uh, texture overlays, which was suggested by someone on our forums, which I'll take you to now. He says, Thumper says, have a one that shows you how to do cool color effects, like the one that just flashes a color really quickly in some of the videos you've made. So I'm guessing he is referring to the flashing colors, um, which uh, has been done in KSF videos as well. So I'll go ahead and jump into Vegas real quickly to show you how um, overlays work. So I've basically set up a quick scene here, and uh, I'm assuming this is your movie, basically. And let's say you want to transition from this clip to this clip, but you want it to uh, flash uh, color really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do that. First, you want to download the texture, which is in the description. Um, you want to just save that to your desktop, right click on it, save image as, uh, and then save it anywhere on your computer, anywhere that you can access it. Now, uh, in your Vegas composition, right click anything that's not a timeline, so down here in the gray area, and click insert video track. Now what you want to do is you want to move your texture in. And basically now we have a texture, or an image, shall we say, uh, just covering the whole video, which is not what we want. So first things first, we want to go into event pan crop, and depending on the size of your composition, mine is 12, um, 1280 by 720 which is standard 720p high definition for YouTube and other Vimeo and other hosting services. So what I want to do is I want to go here to source and maintain aspect ratio to no, which basically stretches it so it fills the whole frame. So it doesn't matter what size your composition is, it will stretch it to fill it. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to just make sure it's at the start and I uh, want to go into event pan crop again. At the first keyframe, we basically want to make an animation of this moving. So at the first keyframe, which is here, we want to zoom in a bit. And I'll just place this box in this corner. And so we want to move maybe five seconds in, or six. And we just want to move this up here. So what's that? What's, what that basically just did is uh, just create a little animation that goes from here to here. Now this will look a lot more effective when it's applied so basically have your timeline marker here at, the, at your last keyframe obviously and so you can see the timeline marker is uh, effectively the same in the composition. Now close this making sure that it's on the last keyframe and now you want to hit S on your keyboard with this highlighted so when it's highlighted it's green for me. Uh, you want to press S on your keyboard which basically just effectively split these into two different sections of the image. Now with this uh, highlighted, not this, this highlighted, click delete on the keyboard, uh, which should be a keyboard button, or you could go to edit delete, whatever suits you. And now we just have our quick animation, as you can see here. So now we want to place this right where we want the transition to be, which is here in this case. So right here, we have the two clips transitioning and right now I'm just gonna put the composition mode of this layer so it doesn't just affect this image it affects whatever's in this layer so that's why you want to dedicate one for your uh, textures and overlays and such so drop down the composition mode and put it to dodge that's my preference I prefer dodge over add or screen because dodge intensifies it and kind of engraves it into the image which I like. So now that we have that done, that was basically just creating a very basic overlay using crop. Now you can create more advanced things in particle illusion, um, not involving textures. I'm not any good at particle illusion, so I won't go into that. Um, and I don't plan on making a tutorial anytime soon. So basically, if you want this to just be a still flash, you do the same, only not uh, keyframe it and uh, just split it into like a two second clip of the same image and that'll just flash and you can apply it to your uh, transition. So I hope this was helpful. If you have a question, PM me on YouTube, leave a comment or preferably post in the forums. 
because you can get not just help by me but by others there as well. If you have any more suggestions, which I do need, go to artificialanimation.com or right now it's artificialanimation.net, but soon it will be .com, and uh, leave a leave a suggestion in the tutorial section, um, and I'll check it out. And if it's good, I'll make a tutorial when I have time. So I hope this has been helpful, and that's about it from me today.